remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, making a difference. The Ishakiri Ethnic Nationality has called on the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, to commence construction of the Wari Escravos Road, which has been on the drawing board for several years. The Shakiris made the demand recently when they paid a solidarity visit to the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the NDDC, Dr. Samuel Lubuku, at the Commission's corporate headquarters in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. According to the Shakiris, who were led by the Ulubushere of Wari Kingdom, Chief Airi Emami, the Wari Escravos Road project, when completed, will boost socioeconomic activities in the Niger Delta. Wari in Delta State is often regarded as the oil city because it hosts a refinery and is also a gateway to Excrevos Terminal where a lot of crude oil export activities take place. Currently, Excrevos can only be accessed by sea from Wari as there is no road linking both locations. Commuting between Escravos and Wari has been a difficult journey for the Ishekiris as well as many oil workers in Nigeria's oil industry. The Ishekiris believe that construction of the 69 kilometers Wari Escravos Road will have many positive impacts both for the Ishekiri Nation, Delta State, and indeed the Federal Republic of Nigeria. During the visit to the NDDC last week, they made a formal request to the Commission for the construction of the road. Sir Sonny Mene, Secretary of the Ishekiri Leaders of Thought, who read an address on behalf of the visiting delegation, told the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the NDDC, Dr. Samuel Ogbuku, that the road, when constructed, will be a game-changer for their quest for socio-economic development. The worry of Madino Escravos Community's Road Project come with attendant benefits to the Shekiri, Ijo, and our Robo neighbors who are inhabitants along the routes. In his response, Dr. Ogbuku told the delegation that the NDDC was already in talks with development partners like Chevron as part of its public-private partnership initiative to ensure completion of the Escravos Road project. We had an engagement with Chevron and after that meeting, they requested certain things from us, which my team is also working on, some of the details in terms of the measurement of the road, the costing, in fact, the total economics of how to get that road fixed. For his part, Prince of Wari Kingdom, Yemi Emiko, commended Dr. Ogbuku for his visible development strides, which he said were already changing the narrative in the Niger Delta. People are watching. People appreciate that things are changing. So we want to encourage you to continue with the good work you are doing. Be rest assured that you will go down in history as one of the most successful executives of this commission. Leader of the delegation, Chief Ayeri Imami, who asked Dr. Ogbuku to ensure the completion of several abandoned and stored projects within the Ishekiri nation, promised to ensure an enabling environment across Ishekiri for the NDDC to successfully carry out all its programs and projects. Chief Ayuri then called on all Ishekiris to support Dr. Ogbuku in ensuring he successfully delivers on his mandates. We we'll make sure that our region, our places are calm for NDDC to come and execute project. So whatever NDDC we cite in my community, I will ensure that those projects are safe because we are the beneficiaries of those projects. The meeting between the Ishekiris and Dr. Ogbuku is yet another interaction between stakeholders and the NDDC to ensure that everyone is carried along in the plans, programs and projects of the NDDC. Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, making a difference. Inside the Niger Delta, 